Well, good evening to Tuesday Homeschool Mom Talk, and um, I'm Devin, the admin in your group and of your YouTube channel. If you're following the channel, if you're not, if you're in the Facebook groups and you're not on the YouTube channel yet, stop what you're doing and go like the channel. Like, comment, subscribe. That is where um, we're moving to the YouTube channel for most of our, our lives. This is, you know, we only got a couple more weeks and we'll probably move there and you'll be able to watch their live instead of watching in the groups. Um, it's a way to consolidate all the stuff and that's where we put most of our stuff. So anyway, tonight we were going to talk about grading or part two, but um, I'm going to apologize. We're going to um, do that next week. I came up with another subject that I really is on my heart this week. We've had a hard week at our house and I want to talk about it a little bit. Um, let me put up my thing. So how do we explain the world when we don't understand ourselves? So, you know, this week it, all over the world, we're kind of watching everything going on in the Ukraine. And for those of you who don't know me, um, I lived in Belarus for several years, which is the country north of the Ukraine. I have not had the pleasure of going to the Ukraine. My sister-in-law is Ukrainian, so this is um, it's a it's it's an emotion. It's been an emotional week for us, and I wanted just to talk a little bit about because I mean not just this situation, but there's lots of such times in life where our children need us to explain the world, and we we don't understand ourselves. So how do you do it? Um, we've been t captivated by the news and the TV and YouTube and. We have daily talk to friends. My mother-in-law still lives in Belarus. My sister-in-law has family in the Ukraine. We have family in Russia. There's no winners with this outbreak. That's just that's just the truth. There's no winners. Um, people are hurting. So how do we talk to our kids when they have questions? You know, I've had to pull. Um, I'm going to go by my notes. Um the first thing is we have to be gentle and y'all can add comments. Y'all can you make comments. I'm not going to keep anybody on track tonight. I know I got, I know y'all felt I got onto y'all last week because I was trying to stay on track, but when you're in this situation, be gentle. If you know, Russians, Belarusians, Ukrainian, be gentle. Their fat, their feelings are valid. Um, your children's feelings are valid, no matter what they are, no matter what they express, whatever it is. Even if you don't think you're like thinking to yourself, why are they, why are they acting that way? Why are they thinking that way? Our feelings are valid. Yours are, mine are, our children. So be gentle. If you don't have an answer, just stop. It's okay to stop and not, um, not answer or try to fix everything. Um, I've had to be gentle with my kids this week. They feel a wide range of emotions. They identify with all Russian speaking people. Um, we have friends who are Moldovan and from all over the spectrum and all over the former Soviet Union. So it's, you know, feelings are valid. So when the questions come up with your children, slow down when they have these questions, slow down, pull them close. Questions are never bad or wrong. Um, Repeat questions are never bad. It just means that somehow we haven't explained something well enough yet for them to grapple with it. Because, I mean, these are big conversations and they're little minds. They don't have all the experience. I mean, we have trouble understanding things. So, you know, nothing's ever wrong. Just slow down. Take time. No questions are wrong. Um, tell the truth. That's a hard one. Even if you don't have the answers, it's okay to tell them you don't understand. It's okay to tell them that we need to do research. Um, that's okay. You know, you just tell them the truth and you can tell them it's okay. I mean, I know for as parents, it's hard. We want to be, a, we want to make our children feel safe, but sometimes there's safety in pulling them close and just saying, I don't understand either. So that's another one. Let's see. Remember that people are not government systems. People are very much the same everywhere. They love their children. They plant their gardens. They name their pets. They take, so take time to research. 
and this is anything it's like if you catch something on the news and it's um vietnam take time to research what those people are like and what's going on so it's you know that's what i do with my own when they ask my kids are very good about you know everybody's the same and i realize um one thing i've realized this week is a lot of people don't understand the breakdown i mean i lived in the soviet era when um the so the former soviet union was still together and i saw it break apart so when i moved there i did not even know that there was a difference between russia and belarus Russia, Ukraine, it was all one place. It was still in our mind, one place. And a lot of times when you talk to people, I realize most of us don't know the, the, um, the geography of it. And we don't know how people are, I mean, you know, like most people don't realize that Russian is Nick's native language, but he also has an ethnic language. So right off the bat, he was, you know, speaking two languages growing up. Um, and a lot of countries are like that. Ukrainian, Ukraine is like that. Um, Lithuania, Latvia, most countries have two languages. So, you know, take time to research them and, you know, learn, you know, ask me, I can always give you 10,000 things. Um, we've had, a, we're, we're going into a week of a lot of um, ethnic recipes because we're just kind of pulling back to our roots right now. And, um, you know, just it's comfort food for us. So, but anyway, those are my main points. If you have questions, I know it's not a long video tonight. We will do grading next week. Well, the second part, the, the one you know about. But um, I just really wanted to go through that because I've had a lot of questions from a lot of moms. And, um, and you know, for those of y'all who know me well, Nick is um, Belarusian. Um, our mo my mother-in-law still lives there. Um, my sister-in-law is Ukrainian. Um, she has family still there. Nick has family in um, Russia um, and Belarus. So he's got family all over the place. Uh, we, we have friends everywhere and we're trying to stay in touch with them. We're, you know, we're doing daily calls, kind of like, you know, um, safety checks, make sure we can touch base with the people that we, um, we know and love. So anyway, those are my takes of how I'm working with my kids. And then I just figured that y'all might need to know how do you answer those questions? And, you know, it's okay not to know answers. There are many, I mean, I have sat here this week and I really, it's hard for me to grapple to see, um, see a world I love fight. It's just, a, it's a difficult week. So be gentle with yourself. Your feelings are valid. Your kids' feelings are valid. Um, we're all having a hard time with it. It's, it just seems um, overwhelming that something can happen so fast. But other than that, let me know what you need. We will do grading next week. And um, I hope you have a great week. Bye, guys.